so if anyone's seen um, Gone with the Wind, the set director for Gone with the Wind actually created the sketches for this club. If you look closely on the wall over here, you can actually see his sketches. He worked on a movie with them, and he created the sketches for this club and the trophy. I'll show you that at the end. If anyone's into Greek mythology, he's looking for a scene called Lacoon. I don't know, mo don't know much about this, but I know this guy used to be a priest, and um, the signing got really mad at him and sent him to see serpents. The end. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Bar located here, Pirates of the So we do have concept art for the ride. This is the scene where you're going by on the boat and the wall are shooting each other. Um, I don't know if you know this, that um, Pirates of the Caribbean used to actually be a walkthrough. They've been adding stuff on and on. Right, this is way too long to be a walkthrough. So they made a water ride. Thank goodness. If you notice, by the way, in this scene, if you look to the right, though, on the wall, there's a hidden Mickey. So, yeah. You can't see it from here, but yes. Okay. Now, right here is parts of art for the movie. It's pretty cool. There's no hidden Mickeys in this, but there is hidden islands. If you look closely, you can see Gilligan's Island. Crooked Island, there's Rum Island, there's Thousand's Island, and there's a misspelling of Jamaica, which actually is the old spelling for Jamaica. Imagineers love detail, they love to get everything right. So. Okay. Right over here, Walt and his wife went shopping in New Orleans, trying to find some stuff for the club. They found this beautiful harpsichord. This is not right now. Oh, it's on. Anyways, um, sounds like the Adams family. It's very beautiful, hand painted inside for the New Orleans theme. So we have um, Paul McCartney, Elton John, numerous amount of musicians have all played this before. It's a really cool piece. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Right over here is um, this is from Mary Poppins. Um, ooh, Mary Poppins. Um, if you watch that movie in the main entryway. Uh, the mom is marching for one's right. She marches by this a few times, so watch it. Yes. Promoting Disney. <laughs> right above here is concept art for the castle. Now, we did take some things out, like these tents, but the main difference is if you see right here, we actually switch this around. So, this is in Fancyland now. The side in Fancyland is now facing outside. So, right behind you is concept art for a little known Disney movie called The Happiest Millionaire. Um, not much I can say about this. This guy belongs in the Haunted Mansion. That's it. <laughs> no one's really seen that movie, but I heard it's very good. Our beautiful Mater D Andy. <laughs> it turns around. Uh, so, like I was saying, Walt and his wife went to New Orleans, went shopping. They found these two pieces. These kids used to be playing instruments, and now they're just dancing to the music. Not sure. Um, right over here is um, this guy doing a handstand. This used to be actually painted a different color than that, but they actually tried to match it. Um, funny thing with this is um, a lot of people used to knock this down. Finally, we had a manager that knocked it down, and finally we were just like, okay, fine. Gluing it on. The end. So, yeah. This is concept art from Mary Poppins. Um, Dick Van Dyke was originally casted in. And um, the person actually did these sketches was Joy Andrews' husband at the time. Maybe that's how she got on the film? I'm not sure. But I know he visits the club about three times a year. He's the nicest guy ever. So, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. This is a 200 year old clock. Just an honorable mention. This piece here was from The Happiest Millionaire. Again, you used to be able to call anyone in the world with a phone. But the adventures of cell phones came, and now just someone for you kind of limited to. Um, it's a very cool piece, though. It still works. So, yeah. It's kind of a cool piece. Very rare to see. This is the only time an Oscar has ever been modified down. Uh, what does he want? Uh, seven Oscars for Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And they all got picture size down for that movie. So it came out in the Great Depression and made lots of money. This is the trophy room. Right above here is um, the first attempt at 3D art. When stuff first came out, they were like, whoa, this is like Avatar. <laughs> but um, <laughs> they really liked it a lot. So yeah, very expensive piece of glass here. Um, 
little example of the, um, why this room is like Adventureland is, you heard the Dream Suite before? Dream Suite is on the other side of this kitchen or above parts of the Caribbean. That was going to be Walt's new apartments. His old one, his family kept expanding, he wanted a new one. So he wanted his apartment, the kitchen, to service his apartment and his friend's banquet room. So if you look closely at that vulture over there, um, Walt wanted to kind of amplify guest conversation by listening to his guest conversation. If you can see, the microphone under each chandelier, under each of the four. And um, he wanted the vulture to kind of be like, give me as another alcohol for, you know, just like joke around with the guest conversation, stuff like that. So uh, Walt Disney was kind of, he liked to amplify each conversation. So right over here is, um, that's Parker signature. He signed this a week before he passed away. Uh, very expensive bottle of wine, as you can see. Um, yeah. Some people know, might know this as the haunted clock. Um, this thing goes off when it wants to, it works when it wants to without us even touching it. I think it's Walt and his afterlife just messing with us, but yeah. So, right over here on the wall is um, the butterfly collections, all done by Lily, Walt's wife. She hand framed herself. Very beautiful. So, yeah. That's the trophy room. Just have two more things to show you. First off, it's a beautiful piece. Love Walt's face here. Walt won 32 awards, individual awards. That's the most all time. I think the second most is about 17. Like he'll ever be caught. So, yeah. And very lastly, we have a beautiful lift. Walt Disney um, was making a movie in France, and the hotel he was staying at, he loved the lift. He wanted to buy it from the owner. The owner's like, I'm using him, I'm not going to just take my lift and ship across the country or the world. So he brought his Mountaineers over there, and they made a perfect replica. Hold on, there we go. So, yeah, that's the tour. Aww. Yeah.